There are many stories circulating these days that can trigger fear about the future. Sometimes our fear is entirely personal because of something that's happening to us. And sometimes it's a much bigger thing than that. It's what's happening to our planet or our economy or our society or other larger scale events and predictions. And it's natural for fear to come up. It's not a bad thing because it's when we feel that fear that we have an opportunity to transmute it into something far more powerful. And that's what we're going to do in the activation today. So let's start by grounding our energy. Let your energy drop down. into the chair, into the ground, and deep into the earth. and relax. Very gently expand your body. Breathe down into your lower belly. and open up to the new energy that's flowing through you. The first thing to be aware of is that whenever you feel fear of the future, It's rooted in past experience. It's coming from your old energy, projecting your past onto the future. And it comes from a place of powerlessness. We're a part of a system that's constantly evolving and growing. And therefore it's entirely natural that our past is less evolved, less advanced than our future. And that means that there were problems in the past we were unable to solve. And we may project that failure onto our expectations of the future. But in relation to the future, everything is always possible. However many times we may have failed in the past. 
and however many mistakes we may have made. So the fear is normal. It's to be expected. But it's not true unless you choose to make it so. So let's do this directly. Choose an area of your life, whether it's personal or global or somewhere in between that tends to bring up fear for you. And for a few minutes, allow yourself to feel that fear. Let go of your thoughts about it and simply feel it. Notice your physical responses. Notice your energy as you tune into the fear. Notice where you feel constricted, or you feel pain, or struggle, And very simply allow yourself to rise to a higher place of consciousness where you can observe the fear reaction, the fear energy as it happens, but you're not caught up in it. You can notice the physiological responses. The mental responses. And the emotional responses. Simply observe all of them from a place of higher consciousness. Don't try to remove the fear or change what's going on. Just allow it. Allow it space. It may even grow or move or change its shape or shrink.
or turn into something else. Stay in your place of higher consciousness. where you can be peaceful whilst observing your fear. And simply watch what's happening. Watch the stories that come up in your mind. Watch the beliefs that underlie the stories. Notice whether the stories and the beliefs are true, really true, and whether they're helping you. But you don't need to try to change them. from this place of higher consciousness. They change themselves quite remarkably. Observe yourself and the whole situation. The other people involved. Observe your response. And stay in a place of higher consciousness. Noticing, observing, see what happens to fear. When you're not caught in it and you have the presence to be able to watch it. Observe how it changes.
and how the stories can change too. Take time. This is a gentle, quiet activity. It's an expansive activity. And notice as the fear shifts and changes, how that changes the future. Notice how you can't maintain a story that's not true or that's disempowering. And when your story changes, the future changes with it. Notice that when you observe a belief that doesn't work, it too starts to shift. You can't keep it anymore. And as a false belief is exposed, It's naturally replaced with a better one, more evolved, more powerful. And as the belief changes, the future shifts with it. Stay very present in a place of expanded consciousness because this may take a little time. But what's happening in reality is that it's hugely speeding up time.
in just half an hour of this kind of presence, this kind of consciousness. Changes can happen that might otherwise take months, even years. So have the courage and the commitment to stay present and to stay in that place of expanded consciousness where you're no longer caught up in the fear but able to observe it. And what you'll discover is that higher consciousness, more expanded consciousness, shifts reality and changes the future. And so the fear becomes a useful stimulation to expand to raise your consciousness and to raise your perspective. The fear is a little reminder, or maybe a big reminder, that you've dropped down, that you're getting caught up in the energy of the past. When you raise your consciousness, you access a higher level of new energy and it will automatically release the past. And enable you to create a better future. And as we start to come to an end now, what I've been sharing with you here is a very radical approach to fear. It can literally turn your fears into pure 
creativity at a deep level. It transmutes fear into love. and initiates the process of creating a different reality, a better future that you have no need to be afraid of. Thank you.